I decided I wanted to beat Elden Ring leveling only my intelligence. There's just one problem. I've never used spells in Elden Ring. So here's the plan. I'm only allowed to level int this run. I decided I can't use talismans that boost my stats, since that kind of defeats the purpose of the run, so no scar seals or anything like that. I also have to beat every remembrance boss in the game to complete this challenge. If you like this video, subscribe. Most of my viewers don't sub and it helps a lot. Alright, on to the gameplay. For this run, I have to start as a wretch since I want intelligence to be my only stat above level 10. This kinda sucks because I won't start off with a staff or any spells, so my first mission is to find some. I decided to start off with the meteorite staff and rock sling. This staff has a low stat requirement and can't be upgraded, so it should be fine for the early and mid game. It also boosts gravity sorceries, so it should be a juicy combo with rock sling. I need to access a spell vendor, and Selen is the closest one right now, so I have to fight my first boss to gain access to her. Ooh, my first boss. There we go. Okay, spells are kind of busted, actually. Very well. You are now my protege in Glenstone Sorcery. Damn, that was fast. Next, I make my way into Weeping to fight the Erdtree Avatar. I'm doing this for the Opaline Bubble Tier, since I won't be able to level Vig in this playthrough. The bubble tier isn't the best option for damage negation, but it will at least ensure I can take one hit from any enemy or boss. Oh no. JK, get wrecked. Finally, equipped with my staff spells and something in my physic flask, I make my way to Margit. Oi. Fuck. Alright, the deathless run's over. Oh shit. Alright, casting time means I can't dodge. That's going to be weird to get used to. Too slow. So okay. That spell is so slow. There we go. Nice and easy. Before I do anything else, I make my way back to Caleb to kill Commander O'Neill. Killing him gives me the unalloyed gold needle, which lets me do Gowry's quest to gain access to his spell shop. While I'm in Kaled, I decide to kill Grail so I can boost my intelligence levels, and also so I can buy some more spells from Selen. Pebble is good. Good damage FP ratio. It's also literally called Pebble. With more spells and a much higher int level, I make my way to Godric. I know it's not first try from experience. Okay. For this fight, I decided to use the Carrion Slicer spell. I've heard before that it's really good, and I can see why. The cast time is super fast, and it hits for a pretty good amount of damage. I'm also still most comfortable fighting enemies with melee weapons, so this spell feels like the easiest to use right now. Oh, first try! Let's go, baby! Easy clapismo, bro. Godric is dog shit. Run too easy, Mr. Streamer. Oh, it'll get worse. My next big fight is in Rhea Lucaria against the Red Wolf. I don't know what's gonna be good. Uh, I think Carrion Slicer. All right. That didn't go very good. I might have to grape. I might have to phalanx this bitch. Fuck. Okay. Next time for sure. That's getting close. All right. What do I need and what do I not need here? Um. Rockslings nice, Phalanx is nice. I think Glintstone Comet Shard is probably a good option too. Uh, I probably don't need Carrion Slicer actually. Yeah, Rockslings is the move here, hundred percent. Oi, fuck. Yeah, I should have to hit that like five times. go bang okay that was pretty nice and easy i was just being a bitch with him dead i backtrack a bit to pick up the comet spell the graven school talisman to boost my spell damage and the radagon icon to boost my casting speed what are we gonna want for Renala? we're probably gonna want something fast just in case um we're gonna for sure want rock sling probably want pebble and then wow i can't use comet that's crazy um with a little bit more of a build now, I make my way to Renala. Time for a little hitless Renala action. First try. Oh, sorry, cat. Ah, not first try, son of a bitch. Renala should be a really hard fight in an intelligence only run because she has a very high magic damage resistance. Luckily, I have Rock Sling. 
This spell does physical damage because, you know, you're throwing actual rocks. It's a little weird, but that makes it the perfect spell for this fight. There we go. Two tries ain't bad. I thought that was going to be a lot worse. Rock sling carried, but fucking take it. Oh, great rune of the unborn. Great, I can respec into int again. That'll be so useful, dog. Now it's on to Altus Plateau, and I stopped by Godfroy's Everjail for a new talisman. Let's see what Godric's deal is. Oh, I put myself in a bad spot right there. Just keep our distance. Oh, no. Let's get in. and make sure he does that. And that's it. GG's. Almost hitless. He got me once. The Godfrey's Icon Talisman will boost charged spells like Comet, which makes it another great option to have for this build. Having done that, I now use Raya to get to Volcano Manor. There are a few items I want to get around here. I guess the real question is how bad is this tree spirit going to be? Not too bad. Okay, that's going to be a problem, though. Okay. There we go. Bro. Intelligence is easy mode. The hidden Cerulean tier is great for this build, as it lets me cast without using FP for 15 seconds. Comet Azor is another big pickup. I won't be using it much because it's so OP, but this spell literally just deletes bosses. Before doing anything else, I progress Selen's questline a bit more. I also solved the puzzle at the converted fringe tower and unlocked the Hema spells. There we go. With these new spells, I go to try out Radon. Alright, that's pretty good. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I did not roll. Jesus. Alright, so it's gonna be a. Radon can hit us once. I get one hit with the Opaline Bubble Tear. So it won't be a hitless fight, but essentially that's what we're going to have to do now. And he's a bit of a pain. I started using Glenstone Ice Craig here, and the Frost proc is honestly super helpful. Oh, it does do Frostbite. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes. Thank God, man. That was a little bit of a struggle bus. We got it done though. We got it done. I've now cleared my early game remembrance bosses and decide to make my way into Landell. But to do that, I'll have to face off against the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Holy shit. It's a dog shit spell, but it does a lot of damage. promise here not a whole lot but it's here for sure a crazy way to do it but this could actually work i wonder if i could get it off twice ah i can't get two in i think i just have to take a small step back from the horse's ass and crystal release will work this is such a dog shit spell but it also has a ton of damage. I really want this to work. Please. God, please let this happen. It would be so fucking funny. There we go. Oh no, that was a bad cast. 
Ah. 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 There we go. Kind of sketchy, but it worked. It's the dumbest way to get off like half his health to start the fight. It's so fucking great. Once I'm in Leyendel, I stop to pick up the Ritual Shield Talisman. I'm hoping this lets me take hits from most bosses so I can change my Physic to Cerulean Hidden Tier in the Magic Damage Tier. Now I can make my way to Gold Free. Oi, okay. Damage is good. I gotta remember how the fuck to do this. Hold on, give me a sec. Oh, I do like the bonk. Here we go. Damn. It's a bonk off. Who has better big bonk? For now, him. But I mean, I barely did anything. And he was almost half health, so I believe. Strafe and bonk. I'm gonna raise you one better here. Oh, shit. The old hit and run. I clicked X. I promise. Flee! Flee for your life! Honestly, Great, bl great Blade Phalanx? Pretty good. Not insane. I'll show... I think the Ritual Shield Talisman is just clutching up right now. I don't think I'd be alive without it. Nice! He just walked to his death. Oh, last Talisman pouch. That's actually perfect, because I was just thinking... I don't know if Ritual Shield is worth using over Godfrey Icon. Now I don't have to worry about that. Not too bad at all. Before fighting Morgoth, I switched my staff to the Carrion Regal Scepter. This staff scales really well with high int builds, and since I have over 70 int at this point, it's one of my best options to maximize my damage. Now it's time for Morgoth. Hopefully Full Moon does something good here. I'm not going to be able to get this off in this fight. Oh, Night Comet is nice. Oh no. <laughs> it was going so good. God damn, bro. These new spells aren't bad. That's a bummer. Bro, the damage is crazy. I just need to not get hit. In this fight, I opened with Rinala's Full Moon, which does a ton of damage and also gives enemies a magic defense debuff for a minute, which allows other spells to do more damage. I also use Night Comet. This is one of the night sorceries, and that gives it the benefit of being undodgeable by enemies. That's not really relevant for this fight. I mostly used it because it looked cool. Oh, there it is. GG's. I don't know why he decided to be a bitch right there, but that, I mean, that's on him. That's just poor tactics. That is poor tactics to walk away from a magic user, brother. Not, not the move. With him done, the rest of the game is pretty much a boss rush, and up next is the fire giant. All right, let's see. Full moon feels like it might be good. Spiral Shard feels like it might be good. Crystal Release could be good. Meteorite could be good. And Carrion Slicer and Stars of Ruin are just actually dog shit. Um, some more Ice Storm. Ice Crag could be good. I was thinking of using Gavel just to see what the poise situation is with it. I feel like it has to do crazy poise damage. I haven't noticed while using it. So that could be like 4k damage. Spiral shard's pretty good. Let's try Rinala's full moon. Not ideal. Let's try that again. I think there's actually some decent potential. What's Slicer doing? Yo. Alright, so Slicer's crazy. Now let's try Ice Storm on his foot as well. Ice Storm isn't great. Holy shit. Oh shit. <laughs> bless you. No, bless you. And your family. And your children. And their children. I will owe you nothing for saying bless me. I'll bless you harder. Nobody said anything about owing me. Yeah, but I know how bless you's work. I 
<laughs> Just spam shard spiral, baby. Holy shit. That fucking spell ate him alive, dude. That's crazy damage. And even with like a zero mind, I can cast it a gazillion times. That wasn't too bad once I figured out what spells to use. I now make my way through Ferrum to the Godskin duo. This is one fight where I'm not worried about being too OP, and I decide I'm going to use whatever I can to get through this quickly. Alright, gotta do it here. Um, I also need Comet. I'm not fucking around with this fight, I'm using all the OP shit. I don't care. Um, and actually, we're gonna use Night Comet in case <clears throat> old fuckface decides to dodge. There we go. Just two. One more. Nice. I was almost, almost out of sleep pots, and we made it work, so that's good. There's definitely a better way to telegraph that, but it fucking worked, so we'll take it. And it's on to Malekith. 90 intelligence. Are you going to get the parry thing? Why does everyone always ask that? It's dog shit, just dodge. How's Pebble looking? Slow. Oh, Jesus Christ. And he's a bit of a problem. It feels like I'm casting way too slow in this fight, so I go and grab Azure's Staff, which will buff my casting speed even more, and hopefully this is all I need to get through this fight. Looking good. Oh shit, I had to say something. I had to say something. What is that? I jumped! Yeah, I'm still getting fucked, so Papa Bushy comes in to give me some tips. Uh, but yeah, for, for strategies, I, I generally like just having them be super simple. So just so use Carry and Slicer? So that you don't have to think about very much. Although that's for like... That's not exactly optimal for content. Yeah. But if you're trying to, you know, be good at the video game, it's easier when you have less to think about. Oh, this is one of the valid openings where you just back up and bait him into jumping, and then you, you punish that, right? For this one, you dodge to the left. I don't know if you know that. Okay, this move. When he does this, you back up in front of him and bait him into doing that. Alright, so this move. If I don't roll in there, he does the double front flip, which we don't want. I dodge back into the center on these ground slams. I just find that it makes the timing a bit more forgiving. He can follow this up with Destin Death. Oh, this, the, the roar, this is fun lore. The roar has a tiny hitbox on the ass. <laughs> has a big hitbox on his head, but there's also a tiny hitbox on his ass. So he's farting. Yeah. Nice. All right, now just do that. Yeah. How hard could it be? Right, let's get rid of some of these spells. Probably should go find the magic shrouding tier. Do I have anything near? I don't think I have anything near there. Let's go grab this. There we go. Nice and easy. Thank you. That'll make life a little better. There we go. There we go. Come here. That's it, baby. It just took the bushy tutorial and we fucked his life up. Let's go. Holy. It was so easy that time. It was so easy. It was so hard and then it got so easy. Now it's on to the final gauntlet of bosses and first up is Gideon. Actually, casting speed will be good against Gideon, so we'll leave that on. What to use? 
I don't really want to crutch on Comet and Carrion Slicer to finish the game, but I think I have to. He dodges, so we actually want Night Comet. And then Carrion Phalanx, because he's a dick. I wonder if it's worth it to use Ronnie's Full Moon off rip. If I don't get him first try, it's going to get really annoying. And I'm just going to have to go to Carrion Slicer. I'm only going to be able to hit one full moon. You know, he's annoying. I'm just going Carrion Slicer and eating his ass. I, I ain't playing around with this fight. Oh, none of these stagger him. Fuck. I thought it was going to stagger him for sure. One more. Oh. The lock on fucked up, dude. No, 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 please. All right, on the bright side, though, we do have Night Comet, which appears to absolutely fuck his life up. So that's, that's good, I guess. Oh, just take a little break. All right, we got his ass. Nice. Night Sorcery's OP on Gideon. Take notes, kids. Doing that if he could dodge the spells would be fucking impossible. With him done, it's now on to Godfrey. Let's do this shit. Oh, I'm fucked. He's fucked. Oh, I picked the wrong spell. Son of a bitch. Let's go. Phase one, first try. Oh, I forgot the second. Oh, my spacing was off. Fuck, I need to jump. Don't be tired. No, yeah, that's good advice. Just fucking dial it in, baby. There we go. There we go. Oh, butthole was clinched. Very clinched, but we made it through. <laughs> oh, Horalu is a terrifying opponent. All right, now I need to piss. And then we're just going to finish this run. First try, Rata Beast. Watch this shit. All right, it wasn't first try. Oh, no. So Fuck my ass. All right, I was cooking so hard, it boiled over the edge of the pot. Yep, shit got burnt. I cooked way too hard. I was fucking super cooking. Game had to bring me back down to the realm of reality. It said, no, this is too much. However, this fight is pretty much telegraphed at this point. Let's figure out the exact moves we're doing before I say that. So we open with three comets, two charged, one regular. He does that. Oh. Didn't expect that. That's new. And now we just kind of cook him from the back. Missed those. That's fine. Dodge in right here and go bang, 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 bang. We can drink right here. We got time. Gotta get behind him on that dodge. And we just finish him off right here. We drink. We drink. Look at that. Look at that. Giving him back shots is crazy. It's the only way through Radagon. Alright, that's half health. Now we get to circle. There's not even really any reason to close distance right here. I probably want to run this way. And now we should be able to actually get some hits in. Make sure we're under the hand. Nice. Should be good. Alright, triple circle. There we go. There's Elden Beast. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's go. There it is, baby. Hell yeah, dude. He can't resist the shard spiral. It's too fucking good, man.
So we have a couple things left to do. Let's go unlock Rykard. I've never juiced up the Serpent Hunter to fight him. I am curious to see what this does. Alright, remember. The challenge was only leveling Int. I could have theoretically used a weapon this whole time. It just seemed really dumb. Because I have 99 Int, so why would I do that? Oh, GG's. Fuck. Yeah, I still have no health, though. Fuck. Ah, fucking stupid fight, man. Never mind, this fight still sucks with low health. So I decide to pivot and go fight the Regal Ancestor Spirit. Still got the wrong physic, whatever. It's fine. Holy shit. There we go. Come on. And bang. Fire. Another remembrance. Yeah, I'm pretty good at the game. If pretty good is terrible. Well, shit, that was easy. Now back to Rykard. Here we go. Oh, baby. Hey, let's go. There it is. There's only a few bosses left that I have access to, so I decided to go pick on Estelle. See how that does. 12,381. Okay, so Comet's just straight up better, gang. I mean, the damage on this is insane. Hold up. Back up. Boop. Boop. <laughs> the problem's gonna be Meteor right here of Estelle. Do I just get behind her? Is it chill? Yeah. I'm gonna be out of... Blues, I believe. Ah, might be able to get this done. Oh, yeah, we're good. We just can't miss. Bang. There we go. That one was not bad at all. After fucking Rykard, dude. I guess Placidus Axe next makes sense. It's only one I actually have, like, straight up access to. I think I'm mainly going to use Carrion Slicer here. Oh, I do have Shard Spiral. That could be really good, couldn't it? Let's just rock those two. Also have spinning weapon. Moon's still handy for the 10% defense debuff. Wait, for reals? Moon does a 10% debuff? And no one told me, dude? Last a minute! Guys, when there's shit like that, you need to tell me about it. I don't know what I'm doing. Unbelievable. This is going to be stupid. Yo! Oh, he dodged all those. That's a shame. Oh, I also forgot to uh, boost my damage. Uh-oh. GG's, Placidus X. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Holy shit! That's fucking crazy. Didn't even get to phase two, dog. Weakest in built. <laughs> now, I need the Halig Tree Medallion to get to Melania, and also so I can take the teleporter to Moog, so I decide to go fight Commander Nile. I also think I'm gonna wanna go Comet off rip. Seemed like it did more damage. Let's try this. Problem is I think I only get two.
Shotgun? Uh, nope. Now I'm sucking. Yeah, it looks like it. As soon as you come in to start watching. It's too much pressure! There we go. That wasn't too many tries. Well, like three or four? Before using the medallion, I decided to make a quick detour to my least favorite boss, Fortisax. Holy shit. Oh no, I'm gonna get death blighted. All right, let's finish him. Goodbye, brother. <laughs> Yo, Fortisax fucking melted, dude. Fastest fight of the run. Now it's Moog's turn, and I didn't really want to deal with phase two with my low health in this run, so I cooked up something a little special. There we go. That's it. Bang. Bang! Got his ass. Alright. One boss to go. I wonder if I can do this in under 20 hours. And now it's time for the final boss of this run, Melania. Oh, no. There we go. All right, that's phase one. Oh, I didn't dodge. Oh. Jesus Christ. Hmm. All right, what do I need to do to get Ronnie's Dark Moon? It's going really poorly. I decide to go get Ronnie's Dark Moon. This will give me some frost damage, which will greatly increase the damage of my opening move sequence. Hopefully making this fight faster is the path to victory. Yeah, I don't need that many. I did. The plus zero run was dog shit. I could not beat her. There we go. Just don't let her hit me as we get out of here. And then we run backwards. All right. Little bangers, just light, light chipping. Wow, she really let me get those all off. That's dope. All right, survive the clones. There we go. Stop chasing me. Is she... Looks like she's out of frost. Let's fucking go! Oh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Holy shit, dude. I am the champion of intelligence, and it only took 21 hours and 300 deaths. <laughs> Alright, let's go finish the game. And that's how I beat all the Remembrance bosses in Elden Ring by only leveling Int. It was fun, and spells are absolutely broken. If you liked that, be sure to check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Let's do this. Show this guy who's the boss. <laughs> oh.
That made me happy.